next. Pe people seeking asylum in the U.S. will be housed in Phoenix area hotels for up to three days each during their immigration proceedings. This is in response to the overwhelming surge of migrants at the border. But as Team 12's Adriana Loya reports, this is not the first time the federal government has used hotels to house migrants. That's right. Uh, hotels have been used in the past by federal immigration agencies. They were actually a key factor during Trump's administration's handling of immigration. Personnel with emergency services shirts were seen Friday at a hotel in Phoenix that will reportedly house migrants. Access to this specific hotel has been blocked off. When I saw the buses and everything, I'd been walking the property with my dog to keep them walking, and I knew something major was happening. It was pretty obvious. And then when I walked today, I got kicked off the property. So I'm like, oh, okay, something is going down. Immigration and Customs Enforcement has not confirmed the specific hotel, but we do know that the agency is partnering with the nonprofit Endeavors to provide temporary shelter and processing services. The $86.9 million contract will provide over 1,200 beds for migrant families for generally less than three days. This comes as the U.S.-Mexico border sees record-breaking numbers of people seeking asylum. We're seeing what was already a flawed and disabled system be even more taxed um, under the circumstances that we're seeing. Juanita Molina is the executive director at Border Action Network, a Tucson-based nonprofit that serves migrant communities. She says given the current immigration flows, federal detention centers are filling up, but using hotels to help with overflows is not new. This actually is a problem that has spanned multiple administrations because there is no standardization of process. Under the Trump administration, a reported 900 people were housed by ICE in several hotels across multiple states. A July report found that immigrant children as young as one were detained in hotels sometimes for weeks before being deported. And this has happened several times. The organization in charge of overseeing the so-called family reception sites says it has served migrants since 2012. So I could see the buses and everything, so it sounds like they're going to start busing people in. Now, I did reach out to the organization helping the migrants as well as ICE and the hotel chain reportedly helping with these stays for, for migrants, uh, asking about the details but have not heard back. A spokesperson for Mayor Gallego's office also said they were not giving details on the locations or the dates for these stays. Reporting live in Phoenix, Adriana Loya, 12 News. Okay, Adriana, thank you so much.